get started. Carlos, take us off. Uh, hi, Chris. Carlos Ramirez, NBC Sports Bay Area. Welcome to the Bay. Uh, what was your first impression of Oracle, the fans, uh, all around your teammates, and how important was it for you to get that first home run in your first game? Yeah, well, um, I guess first impression of Oracle and the fans – while I'm on this side, it's been unbelievable. I mean, I played, you know, the Giants for six years and always been impressed by, you know, how smart and intelligent the fans are and how into it they are. And it's really cool for them to be cheering for you this time, you know, around. So I, I've, you know, I was just talking to my wife out there. I was just saying how I've had an unbelievable first day. I've it's blown my expectations. Um, obviously great to get the win and great to get a homer and get the first one out of the way, but all the stuff behind the scenes too has made me feel, uh, you know, pretty dang special. Uh, and if first impressions matter, uh, how would this first impression make you feel towards maybe staying here longer? <laughs> it's great. Uh, very good. Um, I, I mean, I've obviously said in the past in terms of, those type of conversations. Um, I'm not the main focus in terms of answering those questions, but I'm always open to anything. And I have a, you know, pretty good history too with Scott Harris, the GM here. And he's a great guy. And I, I've always gotten along with him. So, um, and I've always admired the city too, from afar. I've, I've I'm always looking on the schedule for San Francisco and seeing if there's an off day there. Cause there's so much to do here, so much good food. Um, you know, it's never hot. So I love that too. So, I mean, every, there's a lot of great things here and I'm just really happy to be a part of it right now. And finally, uh, did you get any texts from uh, Javi or Anthony? Is everything okay now? I don't know. My phone is vibrating nonstop in my pocket right now. Um, you know, but um, they're busy doing their thing too with their new teams. And, you know, I, I'm proud to have played with them and shared uh, a lot of special moments with them. And it's, been really cool to see them hit homers in their first games and you know for me to me to join them too um it, it feels it feels really special for all of us alex hey chris what, what was the dugout reaction when you got back after that it, it looked like guys were were uh, pretty fired up yeah they certainly seemed it to me um the first homer is weird. You don't know what, what teams do when they come in to celebrate the dugout. So I was kind of lost a little bit, didn't know what to do. Um, but no, I mean, the whole game, you know, just picking people's brains and sitting next to Buster and Croft, Crawford. And I mean, I just, like I said earlier, I can't say enough good things about this first day. I'm, I'm, I feel like I feel giddy. <laughs> I mean, uh, they felt like Christmas morning on it, honestly. Um, and then I'm sure there are some guys that maybe you haven't seen a whole lot of just being in, in the central this year, Darren yeah. Ruff being one of them, uh, yeah. Logan Webb, another one. What did you learn about this team today that maybe you didn't quite realize before you got here? You know, I, I think that it, you know, it doesn't always take, you know, the big name people for uh, a team to be successful and to watch, you know, Logan do his things today on the mound and, Darren, I mean, having a great game, um, you know, it, that, that's what makes teams really good. And that's why this team has been so successful. I mean, there's a lot of guys stepping up, filling roles. You know, I haven't watched every single game. I've seen a few, you know, but it's really cool to be a part of it now and experience it firsthand and, and see that, you know, I mean, just the bats and that, what was it, the third inning, you know, um, when I hit the home run and then Yaz yeah, hitting the double and, you know, rough working the count there going the other way and, you know, great at bats, you know, one through nine. And that's what's made, I bet has made this team great. And Chris. Chris, um, on the broadcast, they showed a shot of your wife and your, and your young one with the Jersey already on. How special was it to hit a home run in front of them? And they got the Jersey today already. Yeah. We had it last night when we got in, <laughs> I went to the hotel room and, you know, went into the room and there's, jerseys all on the bed and giants gear all in the all in the uh uh closet and i mean when you talk about making a first impression on me and my wife uh pretty pretty good one um uh, the kyler would not let go of the jersey last night um 
you know, he's, he's recognizing the Giants logo now and he keeps saying daddy to that logo. So um, it's really special. I, I mean, you know, I'm over the moon right now. And uh, one quick one, um, just the Giants fans giving you a standing ovation your first at bat. Did you get goosebumps? What was that feeling like when they called your name? You go up and everyone's on their feet. Yeah, I mean, I've had some really special fan moments in my career that, that do give me the goosebumps and that ranks up there pretty high. Um, and even after I struck out, I felt like they gave me a standing ovation too. Um, it was a, a pretty, pretty good at bat, a uh, tough pitch to lay off of there, but eight or nine pitches battling. And, you know, I, I, I feel like, you know, you just see that they appreciate a, a good at bat, um, you know, when you're out there grinding, working the count, making the starter throw pitches. Um, it's been, I mean, that felt really good. Thanks, Chris. Welcome to Bay. Thank you. John. Yeah, Chris, what, just curious, what, what all family was here? Just my wife and my son. Okay. Um, okay. My parents and the mother, uh, my wife's side of the family are probably going to join in Arizona because that's a good thing about playing out here. You can drive from Vegas to anywhere. Yeah. And um, was there a lot of talk about <laughs> the importance for you to hit a home run today. A couple of teammates were joking, uh, Webb saying that, you know, we all knew he was going to hit one and Ruff actually said, we're going to send him back if he didn't homer himself. Luck <laughs> Luckily we get to keep him. Yeah. Um, no, no pressure to do that whatsoever. I, I certainly didn't feel it. Uh, I forgot who asked the question pregame though. Rizzo and Javi, you know, hitting homers, putting pressure on me to do it. <laughs> but no, I just really, like I, like I told Cap, like I've said, you know, when I first got here is I just want to make an impact on this team any way I can all over the field, you know, having good at bats and, and being a presence, a presence in the box. And, um, just, just want to add, just, I, I mean, I don't want to be treated any, any differently, or I just want to be another guy in the clubhouse and want to help this team team win another ring. All right. We're going to take last two Andres. Hi, Chris. Welcome to San Francisco Giants. Uh, it's been a week full of many emotions for you, including your home run today. How do you feel with the welcoming fan to Oracle Park? And what's it, what does it feel to leave a legacy as great as the Cubs to stand in a new team? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it's... It's great to answer all these questions and, and being super happy and being in a new place, but I, I don't want it to ever come off as like insensitive that, you know, because I feel like Chicago made me this type of player and made me the person that I am. Um, and I, I have so much appreciation for, for the people, you know, in that front office and organization in the minor leagues and all the people who've, who've put their fingerprint on me um, to make me the ball player I am. And um, I'm, there'll be a day where I get to thank all of them um, personally. Or I mean, I can't wait to go back to, to Wrigley in, in September. That'll be fun. But so just, I mean, I'm just trying to leave, leave a lasting impact there. And I think we did. And to come here and to have that, you know, the fans reception and even pregame, you know, taking ground balls out before the game. I mean, people just screaming for me. I mean, it, it, it made me feel like I was a rookie again. Um, like I was the number one prospect coming up, making their debut, um, you know, so that was really special. And I, I just want to thank all the fans. They've really made this, this day very memorable for me. Chris, now that you play on the team of one of your idols, like Barry Bonds, what would you like to be your short goal with the Frankies? My, my goal with the, with the team? Yeah. The goal is always to win, just to win a World Series. Um, for the, I mean, the Giants had a run there for three, three and five years, and you know, I hope to be the part of a team that jump starts that again and, and wins a lot of rings here because that's, you know, what the fans want to see. That's what this organization expects. They expect a, you know. I mean, you, when you think of the Giants organization, it's, there's hardly ever a, a year or, a, you know, where it's not about winning, where, where they just kind of collapse. And that's something that as a baseball player, you really want to be a part of. And um, 
so far so good. We're one and zero with me here, and, I, and uh, everybody was telling me that. And it made me feel good. It was just a great day today. Okay, last one. Thank you. Hey, Chris, congratulations on your debut home run. Now, did you know that between you, uh, you know, Javier and Anthony, that you guys became the first trio in Major League Baseball history to hit uh, debut home runs uh, to, for your new teams? Did you know that? No. I uh, mean, yeah. I probably could have guessed it. I, mean, I don't know how often you trade away, <laughs> you know, three core guys and then they go hit their their the home run in their debut you know, right. new teams. Pretty pretty cool. And, it, and now that you kind of felt what the Oracle fan base – has done and what they've shown you are you ready for bryant media because the more you successful you are the more it's going to get crazy for you here <laughs> i'm ready for it i'm ready i feel like I've, I've been through it um you know in chicago i mean i thinking back to my time there i some of the stuff that i did before i got to the to the you know big league team and, and making a red bull video with a a goat before we've even won a world series championship and and having a billboard outside the field before I was even up. I mean, that's a lot of pressure to put on a, a rookie. And I was completely oblivious to the fact that that was happening in the moment, but I feel like I'm ready for it. Um, but just, I appreciate the fans and, and them going crazy for me. It makes me feel really wanted. And as a ball player, that's all you could ever really ask for from, from the people who come to support you every day. Thanks, Chris. And once again, welcome to San Francisco. Thank you, guys. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much, All Chris. Right. Appreciate it. Thank you.